Another Captain America pop? Let's talk about it. Welcome to the gas and gas. We're glad you passed by. You get the right time. We had an all time line. Bumbles out, toys, and chimes on mine. Stick around, like, comment, and be sure to subscribe because life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. And remember, if you tell it all, we are together. Yes. <laughs> How many f Captain America pops are they gonna make, Heather? How many? How many Batmans are there? That's a good question also. They're making way too many of the same Funko Pops. Literally over and over and over. Not too long ago, we got a whole box full of different Captain Americas from Amazon. These pops right here. Last year, we got a bunch of Funko Pops that were Year of the Shield. We got way too many Captain Americas. Why do we need another one? Cause why not? Stupid. This time we're getting a Captain America from the very first Captain America film, which was Captain America, the first Avenger. Have you ever seen that first Avenger? Did you just call him the first Avenger? It was his first Avenger. His first adventure as an as Avenger. As an Avenger. His first Avengers Avenger. Yes. Adventure. I don't know what we're saying anymore. I can't talk. This figure is the one where he's holding a prototype shield. It's like all silver and he has the military outfit on. I mean, it's cool. Why? Can we give it a little bit of time and then we'll get another Captain America soon. We just got these. So why not something new like the Destroyer from Thor? Huh? Or Regina George with her boobies cut out. No. No, we're talking about Marvel. I don't care about Marvel. I'm talking about Mean Girls. Oh, God. I know there are a lot of people out there who collect Captain America and love Captain America and I'm one of those people. But it's a little overwhelming sometimes. I would like some new characters. Something different. Not the same thing over and over again. Spider-Man. Iron Man. Did you see they're making Iron Man and Hall of Armors? Now they're making a set of Hall of Armors. Of course they are. It's crazy. Don't get me started about all these new Funko Pops that attach to one another. That's like $25 to $30 per Funko Pop. When you add all that up and you have six pieces, how much is that? A lot. Like how much? A Ton. Three, six, nine. Six, nine, baby. Twelve. I always get stuck on the twelve. Fifteen. Eighteen. Eighteen. $180. Almost $200 to complete an entire set. I mean, just today it was announced that we're getting a Darth Sidious Funko Pop. He looks really cool and everything. Who is it? Is it Darth Vader's brother? No. It's the Emperor Palpatine. That was his name that he went by, Darth Sidious. Sounds like he's a copycat. No, he's not a copycat. He was before Vader. Oh, Vader's a copycat? Every time I say Darth, I always think about how my grandfather called Darth Vader Dark Raider. That's good. That's like one of my favorite things. So more or less, this video is a big rant. How many Funko Pops can they release of the same exact thing and we continue to buy them? And to add insult to injury, today's Captain America is sold at Entertainment Earth. Entertainment Earth is trash! I absolutely hate Entertainment Earth. I hate ordering from there. And if you like ordering from Entertainment Earth, that's fine. But it's my preference that I do not order from that sh company. Okay, so let's get away from Entertainment Earth. We're gonna talk about this Captain America Funko Pop. So this is a Funko Pop we've never gotten before. We haven't gotten much from Captain America, the first Avenger, so I'm totally cool with this. Couldn't we have waited till next year? All of last year was Year of the Shield. Can't we just like, like take a take a break? Can't we just chill out? Like a little hiatus. Hyenas. Giraffes have hyenuses. They have those really long legs yes. and it places their anus Very high. really high. Oh yeah. You don't want to be underneath a giraffe when it's doing a poop. I wonder if they splat. I know I'm bouncing all over the place here. Let's get back to the Darth Sidious that was announced today and also those Iron Man figures. How Holy sh! How'd we get there? I don't know, I'm just annoyed. I'm annoyed by all of this. We're getting the Guardians of the Galaxy. Did you see those? They're all gonna connect together like they're in a ship. That's cool and all, but then we're also getting these new Iron Man in the Hall of Armors. That's way too much. The Darth Sidious and a bunch of dark side looking characters, which includes Darth Maul. How many more Darth Mauls are we gonna get? Speaking of that, how many Boba Fetch are we gonna get? This is making my head explode. Remember a couple weeks ago when you got the Mandalorian with the spear and I yes. lectured you and I said there's too many Mandalorians yes. but you said that you had to get it because it had a yes. spear. Yes, yes, yes. So do you hate it or do you love it? I'm a part of the problem. Bingo. Okay, so enough of all the characters that connect together. Can we get a break on those? Because it seems like every time I turn around, we're getting another set that connects. Yeah, like the shawarma. 
The shawarma, which was, it was cool, I guess, but sort of boring in my opinion. I did like the Avengers Assemble Funko Pops. I thought those were cool. But they were still really expensive. Really expensive. And then how about the Bounty Hunter set from GameStop? So it looks like GameStop is the one who sells all of the connecting Star Wars Funko Pops, whereas Amazon is the one who sells all of the Marvel connecting Funko Pops. Interesting. You were really not interested. No. I know that because you go, interesting! <laughs> and you just move around like an animatronic. I feel like I'm not even sitting next to a person. Okay, so a couple of things. I know that I'm ranting about all this stuff, but the new Spider-Man Funko Pops that are coming out from No Way Home, I'm totally down with that, okay? When? I am Where? totally down with that. They're coming out very soon. We're supposed to be getting some sort of announcement very soon about all these. And that is something I'm really, really excited about. That's awesome. That's great. We're going to get villains and stuff in Funko Pop form that we've never gotten before, like the original Green Goblin, Doc Ock from the original series. That's awesome. Awesome. I love that. But it's frustrating when you go on Facebook or you go on Instagram and you're looking at all these new Funko announcements and it turns up to be Steve Rogers, Captain America, all over again. This time he's holding a different shield. They just need to be spaced apart a little bit. And in between, let's get stuff that we have been asking for for a long time. Have a Doctor Strange with all the arms. I've been asking for that forever. Where's he? Duck in a multiverse somewhere. How about the Abomination from the Hulk film? And he showed up in Shang-Chi as well. We could have Abomination, that'd be awesome. And how about a Red Skull from the Captain America First Avenger film? We got him in like a two pack where he's fighting Captain America, but we never got one by himself. I, I want another Red Skull. Where's Red Skull? Where is Red Skull? Trash! I shouldn't have to ask where Red Skull is. We should have several Red Skulls. Instead, we have 50 billion Captain Americas. Okay, so I'm not explaining why I'm so agitated. Did I tell you why I'm so agitated? Why are you so agitated? Because tomorrow is the Transformer NFT thing. God, another f thing. It's going to be the about? worst. It's going to be f horrible. And I've already asked a friend to help out with this, and I'll be working on it. I've also created an account for you, so you'll be doing it too. Mm, I mean, I'm there's busy. just there's an entire team of I'm people who are trying to help me work I'm on the Transformer set. And a little I'm going to spend probably thousands trying to complete the set. And I just don't want to do that. It's going to take food out of our mouths. Uh, Heather will have to start jogging to work because of gas prices. I hate that. Mm. I hate that you have to jog to work. I mean, I'm going to be driving and all with air conditioning or heat, depending on what I need. But Heather, she'll be doing a lot of jogging. It'll be good for you, I think. You'll look good out there. Can you wear those tight shorts? I love them tight shorts. Those bike shorts. We save money and I also get some hot sauce. Ew. We know what I'm annoyed about, but what I'm most annoyed about are these Transformer NFTs. But it is true, we have gotten way too many Captain Americas and we've gotten way too many of the connecting Funko Pop sets. Those Transformer NFTs are going to be a pain in the you got your credentials and everything set up and ready, or I'm gonna need you to sign in pronto tomorrow morning. We gotta be ready to go. We gotta be first in line. We have to get all these NFTs. We gotta finish the set. I'm so. busy. What, what are you busy doing? What are you gonna be doing? Working. Pfft, work, you don't work. Do you agree with anything I've already said? Yes, I do not like the connecting sets because it forces you to complete the sets. It's very expensive also. Well, yeah, that's why I, I don't like it. Because it takes up space and it's expensive. Yeah, it takes up space and expensive. Thank you. Too many Captain Americas, not enough Regina George with the nipple holes. By the way, you're right. I didn't even think about that. Where are you putting all the Funko Pops that you're connecting together? Where are you putting them? You got to get those little Ikea tables. If you're setting these up in your home somewhere, please take photos and send them to gasocast at gmail.com. I have to see pictures of this. Especially if there's multiples. Like, yeah. More. What if someone only, they don't collect any other other Funko Pops aside from the connecting That pops. would be amazing, actually. I have the Avengers Assemble Funko Pops, but they're all stored away in, in the attic. They're just up there collecting dust. I, I'm doing nothing with them. They're cool. Where do you put them? Up your butt. Okay, I knew you were going there. Hey, Funko, I know you watch our videos. Make the Destroyer from Thor. I know you can. I, I, like, I feel like you can do it. Just do it. Pull the trigger on the thing. I would really rather not support your habit. You have an addiction. I don't have an addiction. I haven't even bought that many NFTs. But you bought the Ninja Turtles. And True. And you collect Ninja Turtles. I don't, but I got a Bebop, so let's, let's count that as something. You bought the Bob's Big Boy. Did you get anything? I got the little hamburger guy. Somebody actually sent it to me. I did not get any from my packs. Somebody was really cool. And thank you, by the way, for the little hamburger guy. He's awesome. But you, you didn't even have to open any packs for that. I know, but I'm saying I opened packs and it was completely f***ed up. Can we move on? What's the next one? Okay, what about the Halloween Freddy? Oh, Funko? God. I knew you were going to bring this up. I tried, Heather. I wanted to get something cool. It just didn't work out. No s***. 
I got that Bebop once and I was pretty sure I was on a roll. Okay, and what about those retro ones with the Popeye? Okay, I know, but I was trying for a Popeye because I thought you would like it. Chris, I don't care. Okay, can we move on? And what about the Nickelodeon ones? I was trying for Nickelodeon ones for you because I, I thought you'd like them. it. Okay, well, I have to have the Transformers. I've been a TF'er for very many years. I love TF'ing, Heather. I love it. I have to have every Transformers Funko Pop. I have to prove that I'm a TF'er, and I TF hard. What is a TF? Transformer. Why would you say that? Uh, because I love Transformers. I'm a big TF'er. What's no. up? I've been TF'ing since 1986. Chris? Yeah, that's when Optimus Prime died. It was a sad day. And I've been TFing the no! whole time. So guys, what do you think about all the things we talked about right here in this video? And are you going for those new Transformers NFTs? Do you want them? Do you hate NFTs? Let us know everything down below. And are you a TFer? You can't just ask people that. I love TF and Heather and I can't help it. You cannot say that. In every video, we like to shout out to some of our patrons for Patreon. In this video, we'd like to shout out to Kaz Brooks, Pablo Perez, Sean Neal, Angel and Greg Gast, Robert Offley, Craig Matthews, Aaron Manuel, Mac the Ball, Celeste Crawford, and Josh Swan. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons from Patreon. You guys rock. Back in the early days of popping off toys, I saw a YouTube video of a couple and they had bought one of our mystery boxes and they were opening it up on camera and talking about popping off toys. And it meant a lot to me that someone took the time to record a video based on something that I created. And so I reached out to them and that began a pretty cool relationship. And their channel has grown over the years. Popping off toys has grown over the years, but we've always remained close. And so for our big anniversary pop swap that's coming up, I reached out to Chris and Heather and I said, do you think you can make it? Can we make it? The real question should be, would we miss it? That would be trash. Yes, we are coming to Nashville. We are super excited and we can't wait to celebrate with Wes Howard and the rest of the Pop and Off Toys crew. It's gonna be awesome. We cannot wait to see you there. So pumped that the Gasocast will be here live at the Pop Swap on March 27th. Let's go! All right, it's that time again. Remember, as always, we're hard together, yes. We'll catch you next time. Bye. Good luck, fellow TFers. Woo!